Okay, well, I'm going to talk a little bit about Copaiba. Copaiba is a good one. It's not one that a lot of people have heard of, um, but it can be put under uh, each oil that you use. You can put it on first so that it uh, helps the other oils sink down deep and so mm -hmm. it's, it's kind of a precursor. But it also has its own benefits by itself. It will help with um, healing tissues and um, it will keep your tissues very healthy. It will also uh, help with any kind of muscle fatigue. Mm -hmm. So as a so as a you know workout regimen, you can put it on your muscles after you work out or even before. Um, my husband had a lot of dental work done, and it was just it's been very. He's gone through a whole bottle in a month. It's been very wow. soothing just to rub it on his jaw, and it's really worked. Mm -hmm. It's been really great for him. And so there's uh, many uses for copaiba. Also, because it has a vitality label, these labels are not only um, just for FDA purposes, but they're also for your educational purposes. So before I really knew anything about copaiba, um, as soon as the vitality line came out, and it came out with a um, vitality label on the Copaiba, that was an indication or an indicator to me that you could take this internally. And so I have been able to put this in a capsule and take it as a daily supplement and um, just try it and see what it does for your body. I'm going to leave it right there. <laughs> it does some amazing things. So. Well, I've heard that it enhances the other oils that it's mixed with. Yes. Yeah, I think it's like yes. 16 times, makes them 16 makes times more, more effective or something. Yes. Like yeah, mm -hmm. I'm like that. I heard that on the top. Yeah. So yeah. interesting. Yes. And it doesn't really have a strong aroma. I mean, I hardly it's smell it at it all. It doesn't. It's very, it's very it's mild. Woodsy. It mm -hmm. smells like a tree or something. Uh, yeah. Or smelling some bark. It smells really not strong like cedar wood. Yeah. Or anything. yeah. Very light. Yeah. Yes. Very it's light. Very yeah. Very yeah. mild. Very very light. Well, something that's not very light is <laughs> raven. <laughs> yeah. Um, I love raven. Um, it gives a lot of good seasonal support uh, for those seasonal sniffles and things like that. Now, raven is a blend. Okay. So, uh, what's great about blends is that if I can't, if I need peppermint, I can't find peppermint. I know that raven has peppermint in it, mm -hmm. and I can use it, and I'm still getting the peppermint with the benefit mm -hmm. of all the other oils that are in there. So raven has got raven syrup, it's got lemon, it's got wintergreen, peppermint, and eucalyptus. And so oh, all so those oils mixed together are good for respiratory support. We're looking at breathing, things yeah. like that. But it's also good for, like you said, a workout, you know, mm -hmm. opening up for, um, for a workout. You can dilute it. And when we're talking about dilution, um, think about diluting, it's generally half and half. So you would take one drop of an essential oil, which is all you need, by the way. Mm -hmm. uh, really, a serving size very is potent. one to three drops. They're, they're very potent. If you're using more than that, you, you're really just wasting it. Just actually just start off with one drop if you're new to oils. Uh, but anyway, one drop and then one drop of um, a carrier oil, like we spoke of before, and then just rub it on your chest or on your back. Or my favorite place to apply oils, especially ones that don't, they're strong smelling or I don't enjoy the, the scent of, mm -hmm. you put it on the bottom of your feet. Mm -hmm. And we will link um, a picture to the foot map because um, there's areas on the Vitafix point, thank you, mm -hmm. Vitafix point, you can put on a certain massage on a certain parts of your feet and it goes to that part of your body. And we'll, we'll include a map in on that. Uh, that's one of my favorite places to put it topically. Um, it's also got a very cooling sensation. So if you're hot, put in a little spray bottle. One drop is all you need in one of those big spray bottles. And you can use it as a cooling spray. Oh, peppermint's good. For yeah, too. yeah. Yes. So it's got yeah. peppermint in it. It's got also the winter cream. Just not on your face. No. Don't spray your face. <laughs> <laughs> but it's also very um, invigorating. Mm -hmm. But like I said, it's a good one. It is a strong oil, so it's a good one to dilute. Our, our family uses this every season, if you know what season I'm talking about. We put it undiluted on the feet yes. because it's a thicker skin on the soles mm -hmm. of your feet. Um, and, and it don't burn. And it doesn't burn. Yeah, right. So uh, we also do Raven and RC and we alternate those. RC is another blend. Um, and we dilute that a little bit and rub it on the chest and the back mm -hmm. during that time. Mm -hmm. and yeah. Or you can I even diffuse it. Yeah. We yeah. Diffuse, it at night. diffuse it at night mm -hmm. to help. Um, keep your yeah, you can also, support. if you're needing some extra support, if you're feeling a little bit below the wellness line, a good way to uh, get a good boost, especially especially for respiratory, is to 
get a bowl of hot steaming water and drop the raven mm -hmm. on top and then cover your head with a towel and all that steam will just uh, you know just breathe it in and it's very therapeutic for your lungs and respiratory so okay. yeah. and you need some like a major major right. support <laughs> the love yes. yes. you get what we're saying right <laughs> you get what we're saying so the other thing that will help us stay above the well and slime um, citrus fresh is another favorite mm. of mine you can use this to neutralize odors you were talking about the toxic um, dryer sheets you can put this on dryer balls the wool dryer balls and throw them in your laundry as well um, freshens the laundry it can you can put it in to spray the air it has a very light citrus smell I think it also has spearmint in there if I'm uh, yes. Not mistaken. Yes. Uh, but my favorite way is to put it in my water. So we all know that our culture, our society is severely dehydrated. And oftentimes we confuse we're hungry, hunger pains, with actually we're dehydrated. So we need to drink more water. We should all be drinking at least eight servings of eight ounce water a day. A little bit more, a little bit less depending on your size. But we have to get our water in and we're just not. So citrus fresh can help the dull flavor of the water. Sometimes mm -hmm. I get bored with water, I'm being yes, honest. Yeah. Um, you can put a few drops of this in your water and it's it increases delicious. your water. Yeah. Yeah. It's mm -hmm. very yummy. Yeah. So it's got fun. orange, grapefruit, mandarin, tangerine, lemon, and spearmint. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Uh, it's like a little yeah. tropical vacation yeah. right there yeah. for your mouth. Yeah. So, well, along with the dehydration issue that we have in society, we have a lot of intestinal issues and digestive problems. Mm -hmm. And you have something that's going to help us with that. I do. This is Digize. So Digize is like what it sounds like. It helps your digestive system. Um, so this one is a Vitality oil as well because, you know, it's focused on your gut. You want to get this oil to your gut. So if you're wanting to take this internally, you don't necessarily have to take it in your water. It doesn't taste Do not as suggest it. It's a good thing. Or smell yeah. like it. Put a sock on right away. Yeah. <laughs> Put your socks on real quick. So um, you can put a few drops, one or two, in a veggie capsule and take it as mm -hmm. a supplement that way to support your gut. Because as you know, your gut is where your kind of your immunity starts. Uh, so you want a healthy gut going into it. Well, any season, but yes. Yeah. So um, at restaurants, when food yes. doesn't agree with you, uh, yes. <laughs> take it with you to roll on in <laughs> your purse. <laughs> immediate, yes. It's an instant uh, relief from mm -hmm. anything tummy. So tummy pain or whatever, we put this on the bottoms of our feet or put it straight on your tummy, and it will help with well anything N nausea any kind of tummy problem that you have so yeah. well in, in our family we have something we call it a warmy my, my mom made it and it's a rice bag that you can heat up in the microwave for a couple of minutes and mm -hmm. you put the dye dries on and put that over it and mm -hmm. it's just so nice yeah it nice. Nice. and it is almost instant relief Oh, really interestingly yeah. enough too because um, I guess that time of year seasonal sniffles and things like that you put that on the feet where your sinus area is, and it really, really helps with that. I mean, within minutes, it's like mm -hmm. you get that relief. So, digize is not just for digestive, it can be used for other things. Very versatile. Well. It's, well, very it's, you know, your digestive system starts from here right. all the way. So, anything that's, true. that's in that track, it's going to help, right. mm -hmm. you know, bring you it's back. It's got to ginger, anise, anise, should mm -hmm. I say that? Fennel, peppermint, tarragon, lemongrass, patchouli, and juniper. So you're getting Those a lot really of oils in yes. that one. I <laughs> love this when you're pregnant or for little babies who are, you know, developing like their digestive yes. tract. Mm -hmm. So it's very good. Yeah, yeah that's a good one. Our favorites. We don't we don't leave home without it. <laughs> okay, so let's look at pan away. So this one is a great one for muscle support. Any kind of muscle or bone, it will support both, but muscle discomfort. Okay, so I use this one when I work out or when my husband has sore muscles. It's great to either rub on directly or to dilute in a, uh, I usually get a little glass bowl, always glass, safe. Um, and I usually put olive oil or coconut oil in it and then I have a whole bowl of it and I just put a few drops. It only takes a few drops in the diffuser. It only takes a few drops if you're using it on your skin and if you're diluting it only takes a few drops. That's why the bottles are small but it does not take very much at all. 
then you have an entire muscle rub that you that will spread a long way so you can do almost your whole body with a little jar I would say maybe half a cup of oil to maybe three to four drops of um, well of the dilution oil to three to four drops of the essential oil and it will go a long way but it is so soothing and it gets it very deep yes and like what like what you said earlier to uh, the water making it soak in yeah my husband wants you get a warm wet cloth and then lay it on there and it just drives the oil mm -hmm. in deeper. And may I just say, husbands are way more supportive of you and the essential oils <laughs> if they will get a massage. Yes, yes. Massage, yes. Massage, yes. massage, they're rubbing there, baby yes, bath. Give me some more of that. Give me some more of that. Yes, they <laughs> are. Well, it's got helichrysum in it. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. helichrysum, mm -hmm. I mean, do some, it's a very uh, powerful oil. Mm -hmm. Wintergreen, of course, you know, is very relaxing. Peppermint mm -hmm. and clove. Mm -hmm. Clove is good about managing that discomfort that you it's like. also good to put in Epsom salts and put it in a bath oh, because then yeah. you get it all over you and know the smell is so invigorating no, as well. yes. one thing about the bath is you don't want to drop it onto the water itself because yeah. it will float so you mm -hmm. want to mix it with something like Epsom salt and right so put in the Epsom yes. salt first and then that's a good point water. Water. So yes. one that. more safety tip for this is anything with that winter green essential oil in it you want to be cautious of when you are pregnant. Mm -hmm. um, and you are, don't take that internally? No. Right. No. So uh, you want to be cautious of certain oils and look them up when you're pregnant. There are some oils specifically um, for when you're in labor to help with that process. So you may just need to wait to use them <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> until yeah. you're ready. Right. And there are a ton so. of resources out there for you to be able to determine this. So don't don't be scared <laughs> about trying new things because there are a lot of people that have gone before you that um, can help you mm -hmm. walk this journey. Definitely. Yeah, and that's also an indicator this cap has a safety cap on it the way a medicine bottle has where you have to actually press it down and turn it. Well, that's an indicator that child, this is not, you know, great for children unless you put, you know, a drop or two on their feet, probably diluted, but, uh, and also not, you know, digestible. So the bottles sometimes are our best educators. Mm -hmm. Right. It's the winner. Mm -hmm. Um, another fantastic oil I'm going to talk about today that, oh. uh, that everybody loves, Thieves. Thank you guys, Ashley. <laughs> this is pro I think it's like the best selling yes, oil. Don't go over it. Yeah, I'm putting every So when I pick up Thieves, I'm thinking immune support, mm -hmm. first off. Okay, Thieves has got clove, lemon, cinnamon bark, eucalyptus, and rosemary, a powerhouses. Of, of oils, um, of course, when the clove is the high. I think it's isn't it the highest oil and antioxidants in the whole. I don't know that. I think so. It's super high in antioxidants. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'm thinking immune support, and um, cardiovascular, respiratory things like that. So um, when we're going into the season, uh, you know, where um, um, you know just health issues. issues. Yeah, health issues. Health there you go. The season. Attacks. Uh, yeah, to attacks. Mm -hmm. um, certain things going around that we like that people share in closed areas. Yes. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, this is the oil that we want to go to. Um, putting it on every day on the kids' feet before they go to school, you're just raising their uh, immunity. Mm -hmm. Anywhere right there's two people, you just want to have that. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> Don't leave them with that, especially yes. the lozenges and the cough drops. Right, right. And Don't then you and diffusing and diffusing, you're also cleansing the air of everything mm -hmm. in the air. Basically, what diffusing does, it's just taking the um, essential oil and taking the molecules up into the air. And that's what you're doing. So it's mm -hmm. like the, the smell. My favorite to diffuse in the kitchen, yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. I have that for my car diffuser. Oh, yeah? I have a car diffuser, and I keep that with me for that. Yeah. I have a quick thing about mm -hmm. the diffusing, is that when you get those uh, synthetic sprays, chemical sprays at the mm -hmm. store, mm -hmm. it... Um, those chemicals bind with your uh, sense of smell receptors. So the odor is still there. The, um, the I just the can't smell. The is Thieves, still there. Yeah. You just can't smell it. Thieves works differently. I'll mm. let you do your research on that. Do <laughs> research on that but for it's, sure. It's gone. Yes, it purifies, mm -hmm. disinfects. That can, well, talking about disinfects. Yeah. Let me talk about one of my favorite Thieves. Thieves has got a whole line of, of products that Young Living has. To go for a chemical-free home, you're thinking about these. Um, laundry detergent, dish soap. I love putting the dish soap in the foam bottle, those mm -hmm. little foam bottles. Uh, honestly, I go to the Dollar Tree and buy the 
ones that are the soap that's already in there, and I just dump everything out, rinse it out real good, and I just mm -hmm. reuse my my uh, thieves cleaner in there. Yeah. Well, all, all, all of these thieves things come so concentrated that right. I can get three bottles of this out of that by diluting it. Right, and right, right. right. They, so they last forever because I put in the little, yeah. just a little bit in that foam, fill it with water, and then I have a. And people use it to wash their hands too, but yeah, it's uh, so that's economical. Thing. It's, it's so economical. Toxic. Another awesome, my favorite thieves product, I think, besides the oil themselves, is the thieves cleaner. Mm -hmm. This is a concentrated bottle. I get about 28 of those. Well, like when you buy in the store, when you're buying a regular cleaner, mm -hmm. I get about 28 of those out of one of these bottles. I put like a cap full in the bottle and then fill mm -hmm. it with water, and there's your cleaner from top to bottom, from ceiling to floor, mm -hmm. and everything it's in between. So strong. Your house yeah. smells clean. It smells so, so good. That clean. averages about a dollar. About a dollar, maybe a dollar twenty-five, depending mm -hmm. how. I get about a, about. Let's see. I, Per, per, dollar, per spray bottle. Per spray bottle. An organic cleaner yeah. for that. Anyway. And just because it's organic doesn't mean that it's toxin free. Just saying. <laughs> <laughs> just saying. She's got a really pretty bottle here for the kitchen. Oh. I have the same thing too. Um, but foam soap. The, we were talking about the cough drops and the lozenges. I prefer the lozenges. They're not as strong as the cough drops are. But, but um, and they're delicious. Sugar free. I don't love it. Yeah. yeah. No sugar. No sugar. Like the other cough drops in the store. You don't so. have to worry about giving them to your children. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. Right. Oh, mom. Waking up in the morning. Of course, it's always the morning, right? Like, mm -hmm. oh, my throat doesn't feel too good. And the difference yeah, between the two is the cough drops have a menthol or a eucalyptus type of um, ingredient that will open your sinuses yeah. more than the lozenge. So. Mm -hmm. And of course, the thieves spray that you carry around. I know this we always joke about this because <laughs> we carry it around and uh, we're going through the going to the Costco, right? And you just spray the handle there and wipe it down and turn around and spray it in our mouth and look at the looks just that we spray get. All, <laughs> spray all the things. <laughs> spray all the Every, things. Everything. And the benefit of that is that anybody that uses your cart behind you are going to have the benefit of having that, no matter how many people touch it, that's right? So and we are saving the world. Yes, yes, we are. We are. Or one time. <laughs> they thieves, they clean. Right, they Those are my favorite um, products. Oh, talk about a chemical free home. Mm -hmm. One of the most it important things. Everything. Right, right. Um, you have to be educated these days. Uh, things are allowed or they're sold in this country that are damaging to our doctrine system. You know, all the chemicals that we have in our, in our house. So do the research. One of the great things that the tools that we have is a Think Dirty app. Don't you just love that app? I love it. Yeah, it's from the Environmental Working Group. Um, and you can actually go to their website, www.ewg.org. And um, what's great about that is that you can type in all kinds of uh, products or mm -hmm. um, like if you look in your at a, at a bottle and you want to know what that chemical is, it brings up all the research behind and why, how toxic it is, and it gives a grading on how to toxic it is, and then it tells you the research that supports mm -hmm. why it got that number. Mm -hmm. I love it. It's, and so we can be in our pockets. It, you know, it will tell you on a scale of through the store, <laughs> store the store and shopping. Store, yeah. It will tell you on a scale of zero to ten how. Um, how carcinogenic it is, mm -hmm. how it um, contributes to cancer. It will tell you if it disrupts your endocrine system, your reproductive system. I mean, think about our kids. I mean, their bodies are smaller than ours. Mm -hmm. So just a little bit might not harm us, but it's huge to them. Mm -hmm. So if it disrupts the rest of their reproductive system now when they're younger, Exactly. And, and, and we think so. about using these products. I get really passionate about I it. Do you know my story. <laughs> if you know my story and the issues that I've had to deal with. Um, but, you know, it may not be toxic if you just use it one time, but we're not using these products one time. We're loyal to our products, right? It's years and years of exposure um, to these chemicals that we're putting into our body. So you really just have to know where it's coming from, right? And it yeah. is, but we get them straight, you know, from birth, first day out, you know, right. we're, you're taking it, you're giving your baby a bath and you toxic, you know, chemicals. It's, it's Scan really some of those baby shampoos. <laughs> I have to tell you, the first time we, we heard of the Think Dirty app, my daughter and I went through the house and we were scanning everything, having a ball. We scanned my husband's hairspray. <laughs> it was a nine <laughs> out of ten on uh, endocrine disruptors. <laughs> well, you know what's so funny is that how toxic some toothpastes are. Yes. And I'm thinking, you're putting that in you're your mouth. Your and you swallow it. It's an part of yes. your body. Yeah. Oh, and at the bottom of the toothpaste, it says, uh, call poison control if swallowed. <laughs> <laughs> Who doesn't swallow a part of your toothpaste? Well, yeah. you won't see that on the thieves. No, no, it's actually there are. There's thieves toothpaste. That's what we use. Thieves mm -hmm. toothpaste. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.